Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's talk about a new unit for energy called the electron volt. It's not something we use in everyday life, but it's used a lot with electricity and magnetism and with nuclear physics and as well with atomic physics. The reason why is because an electron volt is a very small unit of energy. An electron volt is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, so it's very, very tiny. An electron volt can be defined as the energy required to move a charge equal to one electron, like a proton or an electron, across a potential difference of one volt. So here we have an illustration of that. Let's say there, we have a capacitor or something like that where we have charges on one side, opposite charge on the other side, so that there's an electric field between the two. In this case, the electric field will emanate from the positive charge to the negative charge. Let's say that there is a potential difference between the plates equal to 1 volt, and let's say that the distance between the plates is equal to 1 centimeter. So the electric field strength can be defined as the voltage between the two plates divided by the distance, and actually I should write this as divided by the distance, not m, m is the units. And so let's say 1 volt divided by 0 0.01 meter equal 1 centimeter gives us 100 volts per meter or 100 newtons per coulomb. Those are the units for the electric field. Now, the electron, if we place an electron there that has a charge equal to one electron charge, that of course will be tending to move towards the positive side and away from the negative side because there's forces acting on that electron. If we now want to move the electron to the other side, we'll have to push against it with a force F. That force must be equal to at least the force but that's acting on the charge because of the strength of the electric field. We can then say that the work done to get the electron from this side to that side is going to be equal to the force times the distance, and the force on that electron is going to be equal to the electric field strength times the charged electron times d. Now, of course, the charged electron will be one electron charge, which we could typically write like this. So that's the work done, and that, of course, would then be imparting that energy to the electron. We'll be imparting that same amount of uh, energy to the electron or potential energy to the electron. All right, so how do we define then an electron volt? Well, since we are moving this charge across this potential difference of one volt, that work would be equal to one electron volt. Now, let's see if that matches. The charge of the, or I should say, the magnitude of the electric field is 100 volts per newton or 100 newtons per coulomb. So 100 volts per, per uh, meter, I should say per meter, not per newton. And we multiply that times one electron charge, and then we multiply that times the distance of 0.01 meter. And then by definition, notice that the meters cancel out. We have an electron volt for units, 100 times 0 0.01 is 1. This is equal to 1 electron volt. And that would be equal to the work done, or that would be equal to the energy or potential energy gained by the, by the charge, in this case the electron. So you can see that is the definition of an electron volt. It's the energy required or the work required to move an electron or a charge equivalent to the charge of an electron across a potential difference of one volt. And that's the definition of an electron volt.